Hello students, let us start with a new chapter called Self-Balancing Ledger. In this first we will learn Single Ledger System. Single Ledger System, kya lagta hai students? Pahli baas sun rahe hai ye naam? Naam shayad pahli baas sun rahe hai, but not the concept. Concept we have already learnt in FYJC. Zara dekhe kya sikha tha FYJC mein? Let us recap our FYJC, where students you know that businessman pehle transaction record karta hai subsidiary books mein. There are various subsidiary books, purchase book alag hai, sales book is there, bill sustainable book is there, journal proper is there etc. From there he posts transactions to ledger. But students, ledger are not various. What we learned in FYJC? That we have only one ledger book in which we maintain all our ledger accounts. So one book in that I have all my personal accounts. In same book I have all real accounts and in same book students I have all nominal accounts. Students, this system is termed as single ledger system. Single ledger, one book where I am maintaining all my ledger accounts. Students, I have a small question. Kya lagta hai aapko ki ye system sare businessmen follow karte honge? So students, answer is no. This system can be followed only by small business organizations. Can you tell me why only small business organizations? Because number of accounts to be maintained by them are limited. So students, mera ek chota sa general store hai where I have few assets, few personal accounts, few customers, few creditors, then I have limited accounts. And if my number of accounts are few, only one book is sufficient for us to make all our ledger accounts. So students, can I make trial balance from this one single book? The answer is yes, I don't need any other book to make my trial balance. Let us understand this concept with the help of a small example. We have taken five simple statements, simple transactions which you already know. Goods are sold to A, cash is received from A, goods are sold to B, there is sales return from B and goods are sold to C. If I'll ask you how to post these transactions in different ledger, then you can easily tell me that what will be the posting in different accounts. Let us see one by one. When we sell goods to A, journal entry is A's account debit to sales account which will appear in A's account on the debit side and it will appear in sales account on the credit side. If I say cash is received from A, then you know the entry, cash bank account debit to A's account, which will have posting in cash bank account on the debit side and in A's account on the credit side. The next transaction, goods are sold to B, again B's account debit to sales account, which will appear in B's account on the debit side and in sales account on the credit side. Then there is sales return from B which will appear in sales return account on the debit side and in B's account on the credit side. There is last transaction, goods are sold to C, again C's account on the debit side and sales account on the credit side. Students, let us close these ledger accounts. I am sure you know that also. Still, let us recap. So, in A's account, debit side is more. So, the difference is 200 and if I'll ask you, this 200 is which balance? I think you can clearly tell me that this 200 is debit balance. Right now? So, the kai de rai credit mein, but still it is a debit balance because mujhe pata hai, closing balances appear on the opposite side. Correct students? Let us see next account. In B's account, again there is a debit balance of 900. In C's account, again debit side is more, there is a debit balance of 4000. In sales account, yes, you can tell me 
credit side is more, so there is a credit balance of 7,000. In sales return account, there is a debit balance of 1,100. In cash or bank account, there is a debit balance of 800. So, students, one book, all six accounts appearing in one book will look like this. Now, if I want to make a trial balance, can I make a trial balance from all six accounts? Dikte hai. So, A's account, debit balance 200 will appear on the debit side. B account has a debit balance, will appear on the debit side 900 rupees. C's account, there is a debit balance of 4000, will appear on the debit side. Sales account, there is a credit balance of 7000 will appear on the credit side. Sales return account will appear on the debit side. And finally, cash bank account 800 will appear on the debit side. Students, kya lagta hai? Ye statement tally hoga ya nahi hoga? So, of course you know that this statement will tally at rupees 7000. Thank you.